Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and I have now just reached 2,000 subscribers! Woo! And I'm probably going to have to do some editing now to adjust the audio levels, because I just let off a full corn in my room, but it doesn't matter, because this is a momentous day in my channel, and it's kind of crazy, because I do feel like I've literally just got 1,000 subscribers, and I'm already on 2,000, and I'm chuffed about it. And I don't want to make a big deal out of, like, all of the landmarks of subscribers. So, um, this isn't anything major, but what I thought I'd do to celebrate 2,000 subscribers uh, would be to do a tour of my own world. I'm going to do a tour of Stampy's lovely world. And uh, for some of you, you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff you've seen before. Uh, but some of the new uh, people that have just subscribed to my channel, uh, I'm probably going to show you some parts of my house and some parts of my world uh, where I may never have been before. And what I'm going to do... Do, uh, every time I get to a new room or a new place, I'm going to leave a link on the top of the screen, I think I'll put it, uh, so you can go and check out the video uh, when I built that room. So if I show you like, ah, oh, here's my bedroom, and you want to see when I built my bedroom, uh, there should be a link on the top of the screen now so you can go and see me uh, actually building this room. And all I'm going to do is uh, reminisce of like some of the stuff that I've done in my videos and talk about some of the good times I've had and hopefully this will be a nice nostalgia trip for you and uh, if it's not a nostalgia trip if you are new here and um, then you can kind of just sort of get up to speed with uh, my lovely world and what's been going on so yeah here's my bedroom um, I built this actually in a building competition with Crimson and Azoth uh, where we both built our rooms in the same video and this is the room that I built and I'm going to quickly just hop over to his room and I'll show you what he built. Um, this is his room here, which I haven't really touched uh, since he was last in this game. Um, if you're actually wondering why Cray Crimson Azov isn't in, like in any videos anymore, uh, it's because he doesn't play Minecraft very much. So um, unfortunately, he's kind of stopped being in my videos because um, he's moved on to other games when I've sort of got a bit stuck in my ways. Um, also, some of you may or may not know, uh, behind the painting, uh, there's a hidden room up here, which is actually the room of no requirement. This was basically uh, just a space above my room, which I didn't know what to do with. Uh, so I put up a sign there just saying room of uh, no requirement. Um, this is like the main hub of my house. This is just sort of like a crossroad that leads to all the other rooms. Um, I built this uh, pretty early on. Like I always, when I first started building, wanted the main part of my house to be as a bridge going over the lake. I thought that was quite cool. Uh, so that's the reason I built this room like this. Um, moving up here, we have the uh, guest room, uh, which is when there's people in my videos and uh, you might notice I was starting my room and then normally about 10 seconds into the video uh, they all come and join me. That's because they all sleep up here. What does that say? Uh, this is Frog Angel's bed apparently. Um, yeah, so they normally sleep in here and then they come and rush down the stairs and join me in my bedroom. Um, I might as well show you my tower now. And uh, this tower was meant to be a music tower uh, when I built it, but um, it's not very musical. I this is kind of a bit of a, a wasted space to be honest. I should really build something up here. Um, basically, I justified it being a music tower by putting a jukebox in the corner that's what makes it a music tower uh, but i did plan to like underneath here like make oh, oh my god no no um really that really just happened i don't want to go back up there i don't want to look at the damage i've got to do it no <laughs> um that that's my creeper storeroom up here Oh, I'm scared to look at all the damage. Like, oh, it's going to be so annoying to rebuild that. Can I see it from the outside? Is there any holes? Um, okay, looks like the, the damage wasn't too major. Oh, there we go. There's a few holes. I think this might be salvageable. Okay, let's go and have a look up there. I can't believe that just happened. Um, I've lost all my stuff. I need to get my stuff back as well. Don't know why I died. Um... Okay, well, look, here we go. Look, I've added a, another little entrance way here, so uh, I can go down here. Yeah, this is where I keep all of my creepers. Uh, this is my creeper storeroom. Has any stuff fallen down there? I don't think so. Um, all right, let me get let me get my sword ready. That that should be the priority. Um, yeah, I decided to have this area a little bit more open plan, so I've added a hole in the floor. This actually isn't too bad. I can I can patch this up pretty quickly after the video. Anyway, I might as well show you to like the top of the tower. There's just like a little balcony bit. Uh, that goes around the outside here. Uh, so yeah, this is just what it looks like. You get some nice views over some of the rest of my world. And then at the very top up here, uh, there is a, a nice little fountain that I built a very long time ago. 
And this is sort of where the water starts. So there's, like, there's like water trickling through my entire house. And you can see it sort of comes along here and then uh, goes down there. And then it goes back into the main part of my house and then down to the lake. But this is where this is where the water starts. So I don't know where it all comes from. I don't know. It comes from rainwater, let's say. <laughs> and there's one random bench. So you can sit here and just stare into that if you really want to. And oh, that's still annoying me about that bloody creeper. <laughs> I, should, I should have said it on Peaceful or something, shouldn't I? Oh, well. I suppose it would have been not quite as entertaining if things were gonna go wrong. I love the fact that I'm not even trying to build anything and I'm still having stuff going wrong. Um, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go and start off by showing you uh, pretty much my entire house first, seeing as um, I thought I'd start from my bedroom because I always start videos from there. Uh, in here is my living room and this is where I do most of my living. Uh, Fred the uh, friendly Enderman likes to hang out a lot of the time in here. Uh, he's a really big movie buff and he loves watching these like um, like Chinese action movies, like these karate movies and he's really into them so you often find him uh, lounging across the sofa here and uh, he keeps bugging me to try and get a bigger sofa because this one's not big enough but I don't uh, really have room in here. Uh, in here we have my kitchen uh, which I think it was Ank and Craig helped build my kitchen. I got a working fridge there so I get some chicken and I can also get some fish. There we go. Uh, so I can eat that up later and a melon there which um, I might I might harvest this melon now and I might eat it as I go around on my tour. Um, through here we have my inspiration room slash study. And this is basically a room where there's zombies inside the walls. Um, this is a room where whenever I'm trying to decide what to build something out of, I come in here and I sit down at my desk and I just look around the room to sort of see all of the different types of blocks I can build out of. And to be honest, I don't really ever do that, but it's just quite a cool looking room anyway. And you can see all of the different types of blocks. Um, this leads to my balcony here. Um, which is um, a yeah, pretty standard balcony, but you can see the SS Stumpy uh, over there. And I realize I missed one room, which is very undramatic, which is probably why I missed it. Uh, this is my transport station. And this is basically a minecart track uh, which goes uh, back and forth from here to there. And I remember when I was building it, I had great fun saying, uh, I ride my minecart back and forth, I ride my minecart back and forth, something like that anyway. <laughs> um, I'll go upstairs first. Actually, I'm going to show you the... Um, uh, the clubhouse. Uh, this is Stampy's clubhouse where you can see um, uh, one rose here. This is where Guilty Bark died. Rest in peace, uh, Guilty Bark. Uh, DJ booth there. Longbow's my resident DJ. Uh, we've got the strut there holding up the ceiling and this is the bar and I'm going to very quickly jump down here so you can see that. Uh, I do actually have a beer cellar where I can restock uh, and all of my drinks and like my clubhouse snacks and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, this is Stampy's clubhouse. I built this quite recently so there's a good chance uh, quite a lot of you did see it already and that zombie is still underneath me somewhere. Um, out here you can see a race car which Ank got me on Christmas and there was actually a uh, snow golem called Henry uh, that was inside it and I'm sure we're going to run into him at some point. Um, I might as well show you down here. Here used to be a castle, an evil dog fortress uh, that hit the target built and I actually blew it up quite recently in a big battle we had and I killed him. Um, Hopefully he won't make a return at any point, uh, but I am still scared he's going to come back and haunt me at some point. But yeah, my old nemesis hit the target that I destroyed. Uh, this is the underneath of his castle, and um, here you can see a few of his traps that he set up there. See, there's some dispensers uh, that did fire arrows at me. And this is a little secret tunnel that he built, and he tried to escape out here, uh, but he accidentally set himself on fire, so that kind of worked in my favour. Uh, there's just a random tree, which I guess he built as like a little perch so he could like stand here and spy on me um so this is kind of like a little disguised tower and then out here once again we got a very sad place because this is where uh, the dog lucky died and the dog uh, lucky actually died trying to kill hit the target so it was a very uh, valiant death but while we're over here this would be a good opportunity to go and get a good look at the ss stumpy and there it is in all its glory and we're going to go uh, and have a look inside the SS Stumpy now. And hopefully there's a boat in here. Yeah, there's a bunch of random boats that just sort of uh, float around in this area. Like, when I first put them all in, I, like, neatly arranged them in a row along here. Uh, but I guess with the tides and stuff, they've sort of started floating around the area a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to very quickly hop inside the SS Stumpy here before it gets dark. And show you around my boat. Um... This is the deck, not much built on it. You can see I've got the orange and yellow sails there, kind of a bit like uh, my fur. We've got a giraffe here that Longbow built. And over here, you might actually remember, I made Longbow walk the plank. And he actually went over there onto that island and he built a little luxury home underneath that island. And I had to actually come over and save him because his legs were broken. That was quite a fun episode. <laughs> um, up here, you can see Fluffy, uh, who is the... Uh, 
she's not the captain, but she kind of is the captain, and she sort of uh, sells the boat. I guess she's the um, the pilot of the boat, whatever it's called. And uh, this is the uh, captain's cabin. Uh, this is where I sleep. There's my bed. I got a cake, which I'm going to uh, eat some of now because I'm getting pretty hungry doing this tour. I got my own private jukebox there so I can rock the boat and listen to some tunes. And down here is the crew sleeping quarters. We can see we've got rows of bunk beds and over here just some general boating supplies. And here are my cannons. You can see I press that and it actually fires out snowballs. So um, if I ever get attacked by school children, I can fire snowballs back at them. And I'm not going to go up the crow's nest because we are... Um, running out of time as it is getting dark but you can kind of uh, sort of see how the SS Stumpy is and once again I built that relatively recently uh, so I'm sure the majority of you watching this uh, saw me building it. Uh, down here downstairs I've got my library uh, I built this relatively long ago and it's a pretty normal looking library but the exciting thing is here if I pull this lever <gasps> dun, 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 there's a secret bit behind the fireplace how original and down here is my room of wealth and uh, I'm actually filled this room with uh, gold and lapis and I've got one diamond block and this is all legit no creative mode ladies and gentlemen this is all gathered by hand well by pickaxe I suppose <laughs> and yeah I'm just gonna cover that up so so no one can find out about my secret even though I did do it in this video and oh there's something I've lost I had a flint and steel on me but I think uh, that got lost when the creeper blew me up but oh well uh, there's some there's some spare ones there uh, it's always kind of dangerous having the fire near all these books but I'm taking the risk and where is Henry I haven't actually seen Henry in a while he should be around my house somewhere um, in here is my swimming pool and uh, I don't really like this room, to be honest. Um, I actually built this room in a dual commentary with Crimson Azoth, and it's the only uh, dual commentary I've done on Minecraft, and we failed building it. Um, it was awful. There were streams all in the water, and we built it a really ineffective way. But it's kind of cool, because there's a bit of like a, a fountain there sort of leading down to the pool, and the ceiling's quite cool, but I think the rest, uh, like the grey floor and the jacuzzi, all just looks um, a little bit bland. But what I'm going to do now, seeing as it is night, and I've already had to deal with some googlies, I'm actually going to go to bed. I want to find Henry though. Where is Henry? I'm getting worried because I haven't seen him in a while. He's normally hanging out in my clubhouse, but um, I'm not entirely... Oh, here he is. Here's Henry. <laughs> this is this is the uh, the snow golem that Ank gave me on Christmas, and um, he's lived in my house ever since. And look how happy he is. Look, he's celebrating because I got 2,000 subscribers. Look how happy he is jumping up and down on the stairs. <laughs> Careful you don't slip. You're very icy, you know. It could be dangerous. And for some reason, he never drop snow on the floor. I don't know if it's because there's torches everywhere, but like he doesn't leave a trail of snow, which is kind of handy because otherwise I'd have to like go around behind him with like a, a broom or something just clearing up all of the snow he drops everywhere. Okay, carrying on the tour, I guess I'll go into uh, the rest of my house now. Um, this is my storeroom. Uh, this is probably one of the rooms that have changed like the most since when I first built it. And I actually built this room with the help of my first ever dog called Gregory. And Gregory unfortunately died and uh, hopefully most of you know who Gregory is. If you don't, definitely look him up uh, because he was like the most amazing Minecraft dog ever, like totally. And um, yeah, this room used to have all chests in the floor but since the uh, 1.8.2 update, chests are now smaller than like a normal block. You can see like it's slightly lower down so it didn't really work. Uh, so I sort of re did the room and added the water going through and I do like it I do like how it looks now but um, I don't know I did like how it looked before as well um, out here we have my crafting room uh, once again a very old room and um, I had good fun building this room this is like on my seventh or eighth video on Minecraft I built this room so uh, I haven't really changed it that much since when I first built it uh, the only difference is I added that ladder which leads to the um, other side of my transport station but once again <laughs> that's a bit of a boring room and out here is everyone's favorite part in my world this is my love garden and what this place is is basically anytime I want to give someone a shout out or say thank you to someone um, I put them in my love garden as a sign and I give them a shout out what I'm going to do actually I'm just going to quickly pan uh, through all of the signs just so if you have been added to my love garden and not been uh, seen for a while um, I'm not going to go through and read them all out but uh, you can just sort of check yourself out here and sort of have another little mini shout out so um, yeah if you're added to my love garden uh, thank you for watching my videos and uh, yeah I'm glad that uh, you managed to get in. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly go through all of these uh, as quick as I can now. Uh, it just means that like once people are added, it's kind of like that's it 
like you're in the love garden now and then you're probably never going to get seen again so i thought i'd just sort of add some more people in and there's one block missing there and that's annoying i bet that was fred the enderman took that he's no he's normally not too bad but sometimes he gets stroppy with me and so yeah i think that's that's pretty much all of the signs there shown one last row here yeah so all these guys have been in uh, my love garden for a while um while i'm over here i might as well show you my theater you can see my nice uh flashing lights up the top there i was very proud of and uh here's the entrance this is like the lobby area I'm not going to bother showing you upstairs there. Uh, here are my toilets. I think this one's the gents' toilets. You can see there's my <laughs> toilets there. Um, I think I need to add cauldrons as sinks because I think they'll look better. Uh, there's the ladies' toilet on the other side that looks exactly the same. Um, up here leads to the actual main part of the theatre. And you can see I've left my Christmas uh, creeper face up there. I've never got rid of that yet. And over to the side, it's the same on the other side as well. Uh, we've got a couple royal boxes as you can get the best view of the stage from up here. And I'm actually just going to have a little quick drop down and hurt myself a bit and show you downstairs. Um... I know I've never put a play on, and I keep saying I'm going to put a play on. Um, I will do eventually, just bear with me. I will write a play, and I will perform a play to my dogs in my lovely world. Um, I just don't know when it will be. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Um, there's also a backstage area. Um, I have a uh, dressing room here. There are my mirrors <laughs> with the lights around the outside, and a lovely uh, purple sofa there. And this is my prop room. This is like full of people's props, so if there's a play on, uh, they can just leave all of their props. So there's Breadstick, for some reason thinks he's going to need a a bone in one of my plays uh, i'm not sure what that's for and there's a music pit if we go down here um it leads to underneath the stage uh, that's a trap door that just leads to behind the stage there uh, so if someone needs to do a dramatic entrance or exit they can go through there and here is my little music pit where we can uh, play uh, any of these note blocks and i've also got a load of music discs in there so say if we're after a dramatic moment in the play we can put on our dramatic bell music from that really horrible, rubbishy music disc. <laughs> okay, um, let's, let's move on to, to something else. And I know I didn't actually build that much of this theatre in videos. I kind of more just built it than sort of showed you what I added afterwards. I didn't actually uh, spend much time building it in videos, but it took me a very long time. I know it doesn't look that amazing, but uh, when you're not using creative mode and you're sort of not very good at building, uh, things like this do actually take quite a while. Uh, I'm now going to go and show you uh, my mob trap uh, and experience farm and um, I actually built this main building a very long time ago and uh, things didn't go very well when I was building it. Um, I was building it with uh, Ank and Craig and I died, Ank died, things got burnt, I set fire to trees and uh, it didn't go very well but hopefully uh, it was quite entertaining for a video and uh, it's probably like the one building that I've built which I really just don't like at all. I just don't like the look of it. It doesn't look very friendly and there's like lava that trickles all the way down from the top and I think it was a cool idea but I don't know, it just doesn't fit into my lovely world. But I'm not going to change it now because it's been here for a while. So uh, basically, I'm not going to go all the way down, but there's a big pit uh, down there where all googlies are supposed to spawn. They don't uh, very much, and they get taken up here. And I can either have it so they get burned by lava by pulling that lever, or if I don't want to kill them, I want to kill them myself, I can block off the lava there with those pistons. And uh, if I want it as an experience farm... I come over here and they all drop down there and I kill them by smacking them a bit and then if I pull this lever, uh, water comes down, that opens up, I can then turn it off and then I gather all their loot from down here and then, yeah, I get experience and loot. So yeah, quite an effective little thing down there. Um, underneath here, I have a mushroom farm which is very undramatic. It's not like an automated mushroom farm or anything, it's literally just a room underground where I keep mushrooms. I might add it so like I can use water to collect them up easily at some point. But for now, I don't I don't eat mushroom stew often, so it's not a big priority of mine. That's just sort of where I keep my supply of mushrooms. And over here you can see my animal farm. Uh, once again, a very undeveloped part of my world. Um, you might have to actually remember when I built the animal farm, I promised the pigs uh, dirt, and so I've got the pig some dirt there and I put like some trees in uh, so the animals have some shelter but apart from that I've not really added to it uh, since I made that video um, if we go up here I'll show you to my actual main farm uh, this is my tree farm and this is like a, a really effective way of having a tree farm you can see like all of the trees grow in like a solid block and there's a blocker up the top there which means they don't grow too tall so they don't branch and then all of the saplings and the apples and that uh, fall down in the water there and they all get slowly carried to like a little hole in the middle and then they drop down 
and then they keep getting carried along and it takes a little while but basically they all end up coming out here so I think there's probably yeah there's some saplings and, and maybe some apples in here oh no there's no apples but oh well so yeah this is where all the saplings and stuff would come out and I can just easily gather it there so if you're after like a better way to get wood uh, or trees or whatever logs then uh, this is a good way to do it uh, standard sugarcane farm there. I uh, basically just planted everything in a row. There's nothing automated. Uh, I got my wheat. I got my pumpkins. I got my melons and my chickens are up there. But there's actually no chickens at the moment uh, because there's a sideshow in my fun land which needed chickens. And uh, because I had uh, too many chickens here, I couldn't actually uh, spawn chickens in over there. And uh, while I'm here... I might actually go and show you my dog house, I guess. I'm doing this in a bit of a weird order, but my house is a bit like a like a labyrinth, so there's not like one direct route to show you everything. And sorry, this video is going to be quite long, by the way. It will probably be about half an hour, I'm guessing. So uh, thank you if you're still watching it to this point. I know some of you might be finding this boring, you uh, a bit boring, but some of you might be finding it interesting. Anyway, this is my dog house, and uh, this place is always special. One because like this is where all my dogs are, but this was also my first video that got. Uh, noticed. I think the the video when I build this room has got about I don't know, but about 60,000 views or it's got quite a lot of views compared to my others. And I'm sure that uh, a lot of you watching this video today found out about me because you watched a video when I built my dog house. And basically this is where I keep my dogs. There's signs for all my dogs' names. Uh, there's a little pool down there where my dogs can have a little swim around. And also a vending machine. So say if I want some pork chops, I can press the pork chops button. And if I want some bones, I can press the bones button. And why not, why not take a dog with me? I'm going to take Barnaby. Barnaby is uh, one of my longest uh, living dogs <laughs> that hasn't died with me yet. And uh, one of my favourite dogs. So Barnaby, uh, you can join me for the rest of this tour. Just please, please don't die. I don't want anyone to die on my 2,000 subscribers video. <laughs> anyway, let's let's go back into my house down here. Um, this is... Oh, this leads to my storeroom. That's what that sign says. Um, I've got a little cobblestone storeroom down here just because I've got so much cobblestone from mining and stuff. I sort of had to have an own room for, like, the cobblestone. And uh, in this room here, we have uh, some dirt. And this is just like, once again, just where I store like my masses of dirt. <laughs> I have a very dirty room there. And um, is there anything else? Oh, there's also my mine. My mine is here and I don't want to go down like the whole way. But you'll see if you go down here, that leads to a big drop there, which leads to my mine. And I want to get out of here as quick as I can before Barnaby decides to belly flop down there. And also, Barnaby, you sit down there for now because this might get dangerous. Uh, down here... Uh, you can sadly see another grave, which is my dog Chicken, my puppy Chicken, who died. And you can still hear uh, him crying out from the grave now, his ghost uh, clucking away under there. And uh, down here is my nether portal. And this place is completely unchanged, even though the way you get there is different. Um, I've got my rubbish doors there that open the same way. And this is where my nether portal is. And once again... Uh, this was built a very long time ago, but I did enjoy the video when I went to the Never. Um, I don't think many people watched it, but uh, it, was a, it was a bit of an uneventful journey, but I made a friend. I, I caught a pigman, a pigman. I trapped one. Uh, so if you're trying to pick uh, which videos to, to click the link on, uh, maybe go check out the Never one. I did enjoy it. And I think there's, yeah, there's some there's some chicken, some cooked chicken in there, uh, just, to, just to remember the, the dog called Chicken. And anyway, I'm going to have to very slowly uh, swim my way back up the water here until I can get back up to the surface and I'm not sure what to show you next I've kind of gone in a weird order uh, but I do realize there is something very important uh, that I missed out and I'm trying to think of the best way to show you I think going this way um, there is another dog's grave down here uh, this is Stampy Goodnose uh, who was pushed off by Hit the Target my nemesis from all the way up there and uh, Hit Good, uh, Stampy Goodnose was never in a video uh, which is quite sad within itself but uh, that is where Stampy Goodnose died I still had to put a grave there for him and over here is Stampy's first shelter. This is where I spent my first ever night in Minecraft and um, it's very undramatic. It's just a very small tunnel but um, it's kind of momentous because my first ever day or night in Minecraft was spent standing right here and it's uh, still right next to like the whole rest of my house there. And uh, before we carry on, I'm going to very quickly uh, go to sleep again. Sorry, I know this is a long video, uh, but there's quite a lot to show you. And I'm trying to get through it as quick as possible. And then um, I can show you my brewing room, my enchanting room, and also my first proper house. The first house which wasn't a small cave in the side of a mountain. <laughs> it's, it's kind of crazy the fact that... Like, I'm doing a 2,000 subscriber video. Like, when I first started making Let's Play videos, they were getting, like, 12 views per video. 
and the fact that I've now got 2,000 subscribers and like the love garden originally every person that left a comment no matter what they said I would add them to the love garden that was the idea all of these people just did any old comment and because they watched my video I added them like it's it's weird to think that I used to be able to do that and now I have like every video loads of people asking to get put in and stuff and like I'm still small like I'm, I'm not getting all big headed I know I'm still a small YouTube channel but it's crazy that the speed my channel has grown just because of Minecraft. Like, before I did Minecraft videos, like, literally no one was watching, but because of how popular Minecraft is, like, some people have come and checked me out, and I'm I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy that I've got an audience and that you enjoy my videos, and it makes me very happy. Like, I'm going to be honest about that. I like seeing that I'm getting views, and I love reading all your comments and stuff. But anyway, Barnaby, you can sit down again, because there's a few potholes here. Some are natural, some are from, uh, from creepers, and this is my first house. Stampy's house, welcome. This is this is where I used to live. Oh, I kind of wish I spent the night here. You see, I got a few basic belongings still left inside. And uh, when I actually built the house, it didn't look as nice as this. It had uh, like a dirt ceiling and like dirt walls and like a few wooden planks and stuff. And it looked a bit of a mess. I actually uh, tidied it up a bit since then. But this is where um, I spent my first night in an actual home that I built, my first shelter. And over here, is Stampy's Fantastical CD Trap Mark II. And this is where I spent um, a pretty traumatic night trying to get my first music disc um, by trying to get a skeleton to kill a creeper. And that didn't go very well. So you can check that video out uh, if you want and uh, you can just escape from it there. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the house now and show you the rest of the house. And then I'm going to move over to my lighthouse and my igloo. And then I'm going to end off by showing you uh, my fun land. And I'm very scared that I've missed something out, but I don't... I don't think I have. Like, I can't show you literally everything, but hopefully I'm showing you uh, at least all of the main things. I'm very scared taking dogs around here as well because, um, yeah, this is a bit of a dangerous building. Animals do have a tendency of, like, crawling up the side of this building and burning themselves. And Barnaby, stay away from there. Stay on the path. Good boy. Good boy, Barnaby. Leave the pigs alone. <laughs> yeah, I do have a tendency of sometimes coming over here and just seeing cooked pork chops, like, around the building. <laughs> it kind of makes me laugh. Um... Okay, yeah, so I'll show you upstairs in here now. I kind of showed you a bit earlier, but um, if we go across here, uh, you can see my brewing room, which once again uh, was built quite recently, so some of you may have seen it. And I'm yet to make a potion uh, in this world in Minecraft. You can see all these chests are still pretty much empty. Um, I need to make a trip to the Nether to try and get uh, a few more materials. So yeah, I've, I've never made a potion um, in my world in Minecraft. So I need to, I need to get a bit of practice. And Barnaby, Barnaby's inside the pillar. That's terrifying. Like I kind of had to do a double take. Then I turned around and just saw a face inside there. That was with Barnaby. Stop, stop teleporting and going through objects. <laughs> Uh, also through here, there's a, a secret little room. This is a enchantment room. And uh, once again, I've done very little enchantment. And why, why am I level zero? Oh, I died, didn't I? And Barnaby, stop sticking your head through things. Stop trying to scare me. <laughs> and uh, you might also remember this is where Chicken died. Chicken swam up there and suffocated um, in the water there, which was very upsetting. So Barnaby, let's leave this room before you have the same fate. Uh, over here, this is what pretty much my house used to be for a while. Basically, that room and this room, like this little bridge, used to be my house for a very long time uh, when it was just me and Barnaby living together. And you can actually see that I've added a little doorbell, uh, so there's a little ding uh, whenever a dog wants to get in my house. And here is Gregory's grave. This is my first dog that died. And uh, yeah, so this is very sad. And this is uh, the tree which Ank stole some of the leaves off. Uh, but yeah, this is the tree I planted uh, in the memory of Gregory. And uh, Let's forever remember Gregory. I'm never going to forget him. Uh, going down here is um, another sad bit of my house. Another dog died here. <laughs> this is just like a tour of dog graves. That's basically what a tour of my house is. Um, here is like a water room. And I'm going to show you that later actually. Because this is a wheat room. And this is a bit more of an automated wheat room. It's a bit more clever uh, than the thing I got upstairs. Basically uh, you cover up all the glowstone and all the wheat pops up. Uh, so you don't have to do it yourself. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing you that in this video now, though. Uh, but down here, uh, once again, you can see the grave of Snowy. And Barnaby, Barnaby, <laughs> Barnaby, what, what are you doing? You're being very mischievous today. Sit down. I know you're excited because I got 2,000 subscribers. But calm down, please, boy. <laughs> this, is a, this is a sad moment. We're remembering Snowy. Yeah, Snowy the dog um, actually died here. I was uh, building this room and... It's not very surprising that a dog would die. I probably don't need to explain how Snowy died if you haven't seen that video. Basically, 
Snowy burnt in lava. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is my lava storeroom. This is where if I need lava, I don't need to go to the nether. I can just get a bucket and sort of grab some lava uh, from in here. So yeah, it's kind of a bit of a weird looking room. It's a bit too bright and a bit too detailed. It always looks a bit rubbish in videos. Uh, but yeah, this is my lava storeroom. And sadly, the video after this video, I was building an igloo. And I so wish I took snow with the igloo. It'd be uh, a bit more fitting for the dog called Snow. But yeah, rest in peace, Snowy. I will never forget you. Anyway, Barnaby, get up. You can follow me now as long as you don't go in that room. Uh, this is my water storeroom. And this is basically... Uh, a room with two infinite water sources. So if I need to get water, then this is where I go. And uh, I just got scared Barnaby was doing something bad there. And there's a little view out there. There's some glowstone and a jack-o'-lantern. I didn't really know what to do with this place, but uh, because it was all about water, I thought you should have a nice window just looking at water there. And there's also... Uh, I'm sure some of you don't know about this, a little secret bit. So like a little secret side entrance to my house if I want to get in. Uh, instead of using the front door, it looks like, oh look, it's just a bunch of sugar, sugar canes. But no, it leads there downstairs to my water room. So uh, there's something that not everyone knows about. Um, but I think that pretty much sums up my house. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed out anything uh, major at least. And I'm just going to go up here to Googly's Island, uh, which is where a lot of Googly's love to hang out. You can see there's a sign just says Googly's Island. I'm just going to show you my house. This is this is what my house looks like as it is. You can see there's my tower, which has got a nice new hole in thanks to this video and that creeper. Uh, there's a little main part of my house. There's... Um, my storeroom there, uh, that's where my, um, what's that, my clubhouse is, and that's where my swimming pool is, that's sort of where the water ends up going, and Barnaby, is that, is that Barnaby, who's that, is that a stray dog, who's, what's that random dog swimming in the water over here, what's your name, are you a stray dog, it is, it's a stray, I found a stray dog in ages, oh, I've got one bone, could it be, could it be the, in this my 2,000 subscriber videos as I've got one bone, I get a new dog? Nope, no, it wasn't to be. Oh, well, worth a try. Ah, oh, man, there's a random, like, dog just swimming out in the water in the middle of nowhere. Should I go get a bone? I gotta. Okay, dog, you stay there. Please don't despawn. Wait, let me, let me try and get up here if I can. Okay, I'm gonna go and very quickly uh, go and try and grab a bone uh, over from uh, my dog house. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try and get that dog. What should I call it? This is a landmark occasion. This is like my 2,000 subscriber video, and I'm about to get a dog, hopefully, as long as it doesn't despawn. What should I name it? Um, like, I could call it, like, Landmark or something like that. Um, uh, I don't know. I'll come, I'll come up with something. Um, I, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like it should be something relevant to the fact I've got 2,000 subscribers, but it's got to be a dog name after all. You know, I'm not going to call it, like... 2000 or something that's a, like a really rubbish name i did find it swimming out in the water uh, like by its lonesome um i could call it i, I don't have a clue I, I i'm just i'm just gonna get it tell you what tell you what i'm gonna leave it up to you because i have no like imagination whatsoever and i can't come up for a name what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say leave a suggestion down below what I can call this dog, uh, as long as I do actually manage to get it. i got eight bones, which should be enough. Yeah, so leave a comment, and whichever comment I like the most with the best dog suggestion name, I'm going to add that person to my love garden, and I don't know, try and do something a little bit special as well, seeing as it is a momentous occasion. So try and name the dog something relevant to this video, like to the fact that the dog was just swimming by itself, or the fact that I've just got 2,000 subscribers. So try and name the dog something to do with that. But anyway, yeah, I've got a new dog. So I got Barnaby and Mystery Dog. <laughs> you could call the dog Misty because it's Mystery Dog. I don't know. I don't. I leave it up to you. I'm not going to try and come up with any names. Uh, but I think Misty's quite a good one. Okay. Anyway, let's try and ride my minecart track. Hopefully, my dogs aren't getting in the way. Misty, Misty, out the way. I'll call it Misty for now. Barnaby, you out the way too. And go, 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 go. Yay! I managed to get past. Very obedient dogs today. <laughs> anyway, I'm now going to go and show you my lighthouse and my igloo. And uh, sorry once again uh, that this video is going on for so long. I know I said it'd be about half an hour, but it's gone on uh, for even longer than that now. Um, this here is a bridge that was built by Ank and I think Agent Cool, I think we're building this house. Uh, this bridge, sorry, but I think it was mainly built by Ank. So well done, Ank. It's a very nice bridge and it does its job. It hasn't uh, fallen into the water yet. Uh, here you can see my lighthouse, uh, which took absolutely ages to build, uh, basically because I spent the whole time trying to gather up red wool. And what this place is, is basically an art gallery. And I can hear googly somewhere. Somewhere in the walls up here, there's a zombie. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this is basically an art gallery. You can see that the whole way up, there's pictures. And I've just got the actual names of what the pictures are and just put up signs next to them. So this is my 
uh, art gallery slash lighthouse. And I'm just going to go uh, all the way up to the top now and just show you the view you get. It's, it's very high up. And... Um, you do get some nice views though. There, look at that. Look at that beautiful view of my house. I don't admire my world and my house enough, but this is a really nice place to get a lovely view uh, of my lovely world over there. You can see SS Stumpy, my big tower, and you know what all this stuff is. And over there, you can also get a good view uh, over towards Stampy's Funland, uh, where I'm going to be heading in just one moment. So, um, yeah, you can see this is all the glowstone for my lighthouse, and there's no easy way down. You can't jump into water or anything, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to go and run all the way back down, and all my dogs are getting uh, very excited about it. And as soon as it is getting dark, I am going to have to go to bed one more time. But I'm not going to go back to my house. I'm just going to take a quick nap in my emergency igloo. Never has the name emergency igloo been more fitting because it is an emergency. Because it's getting dark and googlies are going to start spawning. And I want to try and be uh, quite quick. So I'm going to have something to eat. Because uh, with the most recent update, now if there's... Um googlies and nasties nearby uh, it doesn't actually let you sleep so i want to try and get into bed uh, before something spawns and it doesn't let me sleep uh, but yeah here's my igloo you can get a quick glimpse of it uh, before i run inside it's pretty standard but uh, the good thing about my igloo is when i built it it was a pretty successful video because I built it in just one video. Normally in my videos, I try and build something and then I run out of time. But this igloo, I built pretty much all of this in one video. So I was kind of proud of myself. And it does look like an igloo. It's very snowy here and it's the shape of an igloo. So I was very happy with it. Uh, but instead of walking all the way back now, I'm actually going to ride on the minecart. So I'm going to try and be very quick before my dogs get in the way. Go, 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 go. And then my dogs can sort of teleport after me. See if I can do some jousting on the way. Oh, go away, Creeper. Go away. I've had enough of you. Oh, no. Why have I stopped? Why have I stopped? Go away. Get back, Creeper. What's going, what's going on with the minecart? Why, why didn't it carry on? Dogs, don't go near that creeper. Stay away. I'm not having any dogs dying. I'm not having my new dog, which might be called Misty, might not be. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, okay, why, why is this not working? Um, I guess there's a, there's a problem. Like, oh, there's no redstone torch here. Why is there no redstone torch? Um, I guess someone must have had an explosion or something around here. Uh, so unfortunately, we're going to have to walk. Actually, if I... If I try and get onto the minecart as it's going down this ramp, I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. I can go along like this. And hello, Mr. Squid. Look at them dancing around under the water. They kind of look like synchronized swimming the way they're sort of stuck their heads down and put their tentacles in the air. <laughs> anyway, let's go over to Stampy's Funland. And um, as of now, Stampy's Funland is uh, a little bit empty. I haven't built very much in there, uh, but I'll show you what I have built. And maybe... Uh, depending uh, when I upload this video as to when I get 2,000 subscribers, uh, you may actually get a sneak peek of stuff that you haven't been seen built in a video, but it depends um, how quickly I reach the 2,000 landmark uh, from when um, I make this video. But yeah, here is a massive duck, and that is the Pretty Duckling, and that is from a sideshow game called The Duck Fling, which is supposed to sound like The Duckling, but The Duck Fling. And this is basically a game where you come up here, and I've actually got a fishing rod ready for this. And uh, there's all ducks down below. And you've got to try and grab a duck. And you've got to go like that and try and fling it. Just like that. I did it perfectly. From one side to the other. So... Um, yeah, there's ducks, like four ducks on either side. I've kind of ruined it by flinging one. Uh, but that's basically what you've got to do. And whoever's got uh, the most ducks on their side at the end of the game wins. And uh, my dogs have there come down to join in. You better not eat any of the ducks. And... Uh, I kind of planned for people to get stuck down here. I knew it would happen. Uh, so there's actually a door there, which I completely missed. And uh, I just need to try and fill all this back in there. And yeah, there we go. That That's, that's the duckling game. Uh, over here is my creeper coaster. And... I've got to ride it. I know this is a very long video and it's, uh, there's a good chance quite a lot of you have uh, clicked off it by now. But seeing as I'm here, whoa, that's a lot of minecarts. Uh, seeing as we're already here, I might as well ride it. And dogs, I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait in the queue for this one because uh, unfortunately a dog did die when I rode this creep of um, this roller coaster for the first time. It was actually Tika, a dog called Tika died uh, right at the top of the mountain up there. And we're going to go past the grave uh, very quickly later on. But yeah, this is, this is my creeper coaster. I'm sure a lot of you have I've seen this because I did build it uh, very recently, but there's a skeleton up there. Please don't hit me, skeleton. <laughs> So yeah, you can see that we've here gone inside this massive creeper. See you later, skeleton. And then you go around the rib cage of the creeper, which is a little bit horrible, but um, I think it does look quite cool. And then yeah, I was really happy with the way this this roller coaster like ended up. I actually really enjoy riding it. And why is this stopped again? What's going on with minecarts? Why is like they not working today? And this is getting dangerous, right? Let, let's skip out a bit. Let's skip out uh, a few bits here and just start from here. What's going on? Go 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 go. See you later, skeleton. And I'm out of here. 
Yeah, so I was really happy with the way this sort of turned out. Like, the way I know it's okay is the fact that I enjoy riding it. Like, every time I come to my fun land, I can't help riding it. See a ladybug there. Uh, there's a squid that was built by my good friend Ballistic Squid, who's a fellow YouTuber. You should definitely go check out. And yeah, you go down here. This is where Tika got set on fire with the lava. And then you go up here, and we then go past Mr. Stew, who throws some mushroom stew at us. I can eat that a little bit later on. There's Tika's grave there you saw very quickly. And then you jump down there, and then you spiral around really fast and that is the end of my creeper coaster so that wasn't the most <coughs> seamless journey i had there's a bit of a problem with the minecart track but that's pretty much how it works and here's the exit here and over here is my pew pew shooting range and uh, I'm not going to play it now because that would take ages but basically uh, this is a place where you've got to shoot aliens zombies and evil slugs and snails and that is pretty much everything I've built in my world uh, so far. The final thing up there is just my my second house. Also, no, I've completely missed this out. I missed out the entire golf course. It took me ages to build this. Um, this is kind of what I built before the fun land. Originally, this was just going to be a place where I have my golf course, uh, but I decided just to have the golf course as like one attraction in the fun land rather than just a golf course. So yeah, um. Yeah, I'm not going to go and play the whole thing, but you can see there's a bunch of holes here. Here's Gregory Jr. Uh, who just spends his whole life sitting there. And yeah, this this is what my golf course is. Um, This is a big model of my head. Uh, one of the ones is called uh, Hungry Stampy, I believe. Yeah, Hungry Stampy. And you've got to try and throw the snowballs through my mouth to feed me. And can I get it in? Nope. <laughs> Always rubbish. Yeah, so this is my golf course. And yeah, and here's my house up here. You know, this is like just a, a temporary house where I, I like spend time at so I don't have to go uh, back to my house every time I want to go to sleep. And there you can see a pretty awesome view there of the massive duck. And that is the end of the video. Um, if you've watched it for this length of time, uh, thank you very much for sticking with it. I know it's been a very long video and I probably should have split it up into two different videos. But I don't know, it's, it's a special video so it could be an extra special long length and the length of two normal videos. And also... If you're a long-term subscriber, if you've been with me from the start, thank you very much for sticking with me and staying watching my videos. And if you just subscribed yesterday, uh, thank you for taking a chance and deciding to watch my videos. Um, I do appreciate like, appreciate it when people support me and come back to watch my videos and leave comments and like them uh, time after time. And hopefully, uh, because of that, I can keep doing this uh, for a very long amount of time. I also want to thank anyone else on YouTube that's given me shout-outs, uh, people that have helped me out in my videos, people like Ballistic Squid and uh, Comic and Lewis blogs gaming i don't want to go and like name everyone now because uh, i know i'd miss some people out uh, but if you've helped me out in my videos and also people that are just in my videos people like ank and longbow and chloe and like breadstick and like lee and all sorts of people once again i don't want to name everyone because i'm going to miss people out i don't know like amy as well and like um there's, there's so many people that i don't have time to go through and name them all uh, but anyone that's been in my videos regularly and helped me out building what i've built and uh, helped me make my world into what it is today uh, thanks a lot i'm just very appreciative and thanks for helping me get 2,000 subscribers uh, but that is finally the end of the video now thanks for watching and i'll see you later bye